Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cabela's, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Sauce, Muddy Outdoors, and Realtree. Day 10, October 20th. For this afternoon's hunt, I'm going to make the trip up the creek about somewhere between a quarter and a half a mile and then we take a little secondary creek and then we're going to wind up in the little small island of trees that's right on the edge of what used to be a really good feeding area. With the drought that we had this summer, I'm afraid there's not going to be a whole lot of food there, unfortunately. It was planted to beans, but uh, I know last time I checked it, there weren't very many beans in there. But we'll at least get up in there and, and make sure that the stand is in good working order. Uh, maybe if we're lucky, we'll shoot a doe, maybe lay eyes on one of these bucks that we're after. But that's kind of been my plan here for the last uh, couple of weeks here is, is uh, get out, check these stands over, make sure they're ready for the rut, make sure that the entry and exit routes are clean and quick, make sure the shooting lanes are opened up, and uh, just be ready for when prime time finally gets here. I'll check back in once we get there and uh, give you a little summary of how the spot lays out and at least historically how the deer have used that area. Those beavers have got us messed up pretty good here. There's a dam right here and that'd be one thing we can go around one pool but now they've got another dam above this one. So what used to be a real quick uh, trip up through here is now messed up pretty bad. I wish those, I mean, I know the guys around here like to trap these things. I wish they'd get them killed, but well, I tell you what, we're going to, we're not going to go in here. I'm not going to take a chance of bumping these deer. I mean, it's no big deal. We've got other spots we can go to with this south wind. We've got a little bit of time left. We'll just jump in the truck and move to a different spot. to a different spot that uh, the beavers have just plugged up that creek and I just didn't see any sense in going in there and potentially buggering that spot coming out. It just didn't make any sense. So we're going back to the same spot that we were at a couple nights ago, this little micro plot. It's a quick one to get into. I mean, I'm already 30 yards from the truck and I'm already about 20% of the way to the stand. So we'll be there in a jiffy. That'll give us plenty of time to hunt yet this evening. So Drake and I hit those beaver dams in those uh, big deep beaver ponds and pulled out of there. I didn't want to take the chance, like I said, of having to come out of there at the end of legal shooting time with deer in those fields on both sides of that creek and then have to come up out of the water or come up out of the creek bank onto the field edges and spook those deer. It just makes more sense, especially this time of the year, not to take that kind of risk. Uh, so instead, we're back to the same spot that I hunted Tuesday, uh, three days ago. We, we are likely to wear this spot out, but uh, that's all right. It's not an area that you know we're too uh, committed to hunting throughout the rest of the season. It's a good spot to get to. It's quick. Uh, maybe we can kill a doe, and there's you know obviously a chance that some kind of a buck could come through. Also, that looks good. But uh, just want to bring you up to speed on how I ended up here, rather than in that island of trees that we had intended to go to originally. about the last 15 minutes now and so far um, it's been a bust I mean nothing's come out it's a beautiful evening um, I've been saying that a lot it's comfortable probably mid 60s right now and uh, it is supposed to rain tomorrow and then it's supposed to get a lot colder next week so there is uh, if you want to call it light at the end of the tunnel most times we're not hoping for cold, but obviously when deer hunting, 
We need it to be a little bit cooler so the bucks will move. That's it for the for the blog today. Uh, if something does come out here in the last 15 minutes or so, we'll show it to you here on the end. But uh, I'm not going to hunt tomorrow with the rain, and I think Drake's going to hunt Sunday. So uh, I won't be back on the video blog again until probably Monday evening. So have a good weekend, and uh, get your honeydew list knocked out of the way, because we got some good hunting right around the corner. We'll see you next week.